video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome to the Sims 4 Machino Stuff Pack Review. So I'm breaking down this video and to two different parts. The first part is an um, apartment build that I am doing based off of a sim that I had in mind that I'll talk to you guys a little bit later about. Um, and the second half I'm showing you guys all the creative sim assets as well as I styled a few of the pieces together so you guys have an idea of how to use these on your own sims. Um, as well as like, me going and telling you guys the whole highlights from this pack and everything else. But before we go ahead and talk to you guys about like how my feelings about this pack and things like that, I kind of have to rant a little bit. Um, so before when this stuff pack was even like a thing, before people even like really got their hands on it, um, I was a little annoyed because I feel like people were judging this so early and I get it. Not everybody likes high fashion. Not everybody likes designer things. You know, some of you guys just aren't aren't into that kind of thing. You guys aren't into looking at it. You guys would never consider even buying anything like that. So, like, I get that not everybody is going to like things like that. But it just kind of makes me mad because, like, I just feel like it's just kind of almost hypocritical. Because, like, people are like, oh, who's going to buy, like... A $700 like handbag or sweater or something like that but it's just like but don't you spend that money on upgrading your computer like you know like to each your own you know some people like to spend their money on different things <laughs> and I feel like this is getting a little off topic now but that's just kind of like I don't know it just kind of bothered me a little bit um, and I just feel like it was just kind of like rude too because like the sim gurus haven't even like put it out yet like people haven't even gotten their hands on it people are like oh this is gonna be so bad and i'd be like no just because you're not into that kind of thing doesn't mean other of our simmers isn't and i don't know maybe it's just me because like i do like looking at fashion pages i have a few designer handbags of my own um as well as a few pieces of jewelry and i just like looking in the stores too like going in and just being like oh wow <laughs> I wish I could buy everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I guess to each your own. Um, but I'm glad that the people that have kind of kind of like um judged it early, like watched the live stream and changed their mind because I really thought this pack was gonna be awesome and I, I think it is pretty good for a stuff pack. Um, but with that said, let's move into me actually talking about the actual features of this pack. Um, because this is actually the first stuff pack for the Sims pack for a while. Um, they haven't done a stuff pack in a, quite a while since, um, I, if I'm correct, I think like since the whole my first stuff pack debacle, um, stuff packs haven't really been a thing. So I feel like this is a strong choice back because this is the very first stuff pack um, that has a career in it. And most of the stuff packs before would only come with like one big gameplay item. So it would be like, you know, like the washer and dryers or like a hot tub or an ice cream machine or something like that. But in this case, it highlights a skill that we already have in The Sims, which is photography, but gets a new take on it with a, with a new career. Um, and the interactive items in it really lend itself good to like many other packs. Um, for example, um, there are a couple of different backdrops for this. Like, you can get your normal, like, pull screen backdrop. Nothing fancy dancy about it. Just normal backdrop screen. But then you can get these really cool light up animated ones. Um, which are really, really awesome. Um, it was just so, so duper duper cool that you can do, like, a lot of, you can connect them together. And you can make just so many different combinations of different backdrops to like your imagination um and there are also like a tripod and the tripod kind of like i don't know how to explain it it like gives the photography skill like a new kind of stability to it like you'll know what i mean um because they like rehauled it and your sims can now pick from different categories of poses and you can just like randomize them and it is just so good because before you had to um 
for, for if you have if you have um get to work you might have like seen like a similar item for example the like photography studio from get to work you'd have to like click out of it and then go back in to like get your sims to like have a different pose but this one you don't there's so many different categories you could pick from and i think that's really really awesome um because you can also do group poses now and on top of that too like you have markers and you can have your sims stand in a specific marker and you can even pose with toddlers and pets now which are super duper super cool um because now you can actually take family photos and i think that's really sweet because that's not something we were able to do before so i really enjoy like i really enjoy them like thinking more about um you know like simmers too that like want to use this more for like family items and like have family portraits and things like that because that's also really really nice besides like the whole just like fashion photography career thing too it's it's a good bonus um but yeah, as I was saying, going going back to some of the items from this pack, um, there are also a collage for your photos, which is really, really nice, as well as a digital photo frame. So if you're someone, um, your sim doesn't have a whole ton of room in their house, but they have a whole lot of pictures, you can have them cycle through, which is super duper awesome as well. Um, I believe in the new update, you can now place photos on um desks and like tables now and things like that so that's really really awesome so i feel like the photography skill like really did get like a whole new life to it and i think it kind of makes sense now too why also um it's highlighted now on like the rebranding of the sims front page um because i believe like a sim has like a holding a camera and things like that and i'm really happy what they did with this it really makes me excited too to see some sort of like maybe posing kind of thing in the future for like if they ever really wanted to rehaul cast a little bit and add a system for our sims to pose right then and there because that would be really cool for a summer that they thumbnails i would i would love to see that someday but now i'm just going off topic um okay so now moving into some of my favorite curtain build items so if you're a builder you will really 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 love these new windows my only criticism with it is that there are no doors to match the height of which is kind of unfortunate because <laughs> i believe that we got a new door i think in base game Correct me if I'm wrong, I think we got a new door, but it does not match the height of the windows, which made me a little sad. I wish that wasn't a thing. <laughs> But um, I also really, really love the new clothing racks. I do believe they are um, interactable. I also really, really love the new couches um, and like just magazine stacks and bookcases and all these items look so chic. And I feel like they can go in a lot of different houses, which is really, really nice. And the neon sign. We can't forget about the neon sign. You can change colors of it too when you're in live mode. Um, FYI too. <laughs> um, and yeah, also too, um, what else? What else is another item that I really, really liked, I liked about this bag? Oh my god, this, so they have this new cool rounded window. Um, you'll you'll see me use it in here, like in like the living room. Like I know this was a um, an apartment build, but I wanted to find a way to use like the new window. So I kind of like divided the room up a little bit with the windows and I think it turned out really, really awesome. And um, I actually kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about the inspiration behind, I guess, like the sim that's supposed to live here um, before I start talking about the creative sim items because that's like in the second half of this video. But the sim that I envisioned living here um, is called Misty Waters from The Herbs. Um, now, some of you guys that that have been following me for a while or if you're new um i have a save file called my throwback save file and in it i have done pleasant view and actually this week i am updating it and doing a really big update for you guys and putting out an overview video of um what i've done for strange town um and yeah i know some of you guys have been like waiting awaiting that for a while now so i promise you guys it is coming it is coming this week which is why i've been kind of quiet the week after i got back from video vacation from vegas because if you guys don't know also know i took a little trip on vegas i took a little trip to vegas um with my friend crystal um and i've been posting about it on twitter and instagram but that's besides the point basically i've been i've been a little hard at work for you guys <laughs> this week finalizing things and and it is coming the strange town update is coming this week but going back to what i was saying about misty waters um i've been thinking about 
uh, about like the next update after Strange Town, and I decided that I really wanted to do one that involved the herbs the sims in a city um which is like a spin-off game from the sims but i feel like the uh, characters were like so iconic and so wacky and just had like really rich personalities and i feel like that would be like so fun to put in the sims um in my like you know sims 4 throwback save file because i feel like that would be really, really fun even if you guys that may have not been able to play the game um back in the day because i feel like you guys will still really get really that whole rich sense of character that I was kind of like going for um but yeah one of the sims I was taught trying to tell you guys about is Misty Waters and she's kind of like this uppity girl who I believe she owns a gym um it, correct me if I'm wrong I believe she owns a gym um and I play the Nintendo DS version in case anybody is wondering um so I like I built that with her in mind um, because she wears this iconic like yellow and red like gym wear outfit everywhere I believe in like the herbs version and I think like the original sims version busting out on um, on DS is no they didn't even have DS back in those days it was probably Nintendo SB oh my god we're going way back guys <laughs> but yeah um, as I was saying, there's a lot of pausing in this video. I'm so sorry. I must have made some pauses while I was trying to build this. But anyway, it gives me time to tell you guys the story. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, she is like this like really uppity girl and like she loves working out and things like that. But she kind of, I always had this like vision for her that she would have like this like really, really cool expensive looking fashionable apartment kind of thing and i think it was very very her so i hope you guys really like it because i did my best um trying to add like the black and white um as well as the red and yellow and try not to make it look too mcdonald's-y <laughs> if you guys know what i'm trying to say because that would have been bad um but i think i i think i achieved it i think it turned out really really well um and it looked really really nice and by the way too i really have to say i enjoy those little dividers that like they kind of look like windows almost but they're not windows i feel like they came in really handy in this bathroom um and dividing it up because this bathroom is very big and very luxurious and i feel like they added a lot to it um but yeah that's that's besides the point so let me know if you guys know know if you guys who misty waters is um if you get the whole vibe from her in this apartment because i believe this apartment um another sim lived here um i forgot his name like lobo or something like that the one from city living um but he had like a gym connected to his um bedroom like he owned this apartment so but then when i like looked at the floor plans i was like oh my god this floor plan would just be great for her and i feel like that's kind of like where i went from there um but yeah i'm just i'm like already thinking about the next version of the save file yet i still haven't gotten strange down up for you guys but like i said i promise it is coming this week it is coming this week i have completely i have completely finished it i've packaged out um the whole save file it's just the video is just waiting for my commentary um and the post is just waiting for my approval <laughs> for you guys next week but yeah i just thought that i might tell you guys a little backstory about i guess my inspiration about this um and yeah, we still haven't gotten gotten up to the creative sim part, but I guess I could tell you guys what I like about creative sim. Um, so there is one outfit that I didn't show off because I believe you have to be in the fashion career to have it. Like I think it's. I, I'm not sure if that's true, but I didn't see it. But I'm. But when I did it, I did when it did it straight off of like a new game. So um, so I'm guessing you have to have um your sim like enrolled in that career to see it uh, but anyway the outfit that i didn't show off to you guys was like the one that was like a marching band kind of outfit but it was like really glitzy it kind of reminded me of michael jackson a bit if i'm gonna be honest <laughs> but yeah that's the only one i didn't i didn't see in kaz otherwise um Otherwise, I did see a lot of really, really good, actually usable items for your Sims. Some items that I can actually see your Sims like wearing out and into the world and things like that. There wasn't a whole ton of like really crazy out there ones. Um, I liked, I have to say, I liked every single one of the items in this pack except for um, like this one pattern thing that I will that I will point out to you is the only thing I didn't didn't see myself using really that much. 
but I really do think that all of the items really do encapsulate kind of Machino and The Sims and kind of like get, have like a good mix between the brands and which is something really really cool um and also too they also have that iconic um Machino Barbie outfit if you know what which one I'm talking about they have that iconic outfit the Your Sims can wear and I was like I was fangirling a little bit I was like oh yes I'm so happy they included this <laughs> if you know which one I'm talking about you will you'll, you'll know I feel like if you know it okay it kind of looks like legally blonde a little bit that's basically the best way i could describe it if you've never seen it before um i'll try to point that out when i see it as well i really really like that one i also do like the normal t-shirt as well as the bathing suit um and the plum bob earrings and i believe too didn't we get a hoodie? I believe that we got the hoodie in base game update at some point. That was one thing too I would have liked to see. Um, it filtered in with the Machino stuff. Like I know it was a base game item, but it would be nice if you had the pack. If it would filter with it and maybe they could have added like a special swatch for us. I guess that bought it. I, I just felt like it should be it should be with that stuff pack i i know some people might argue they'd be like well why are they trying to like sell us content that we already have for free blah 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 but i feel like it makes it easier when you're trying to create sims so i would have liked that little tidbit in there um what else did we get oh my god i have to see the items in front of me um but yeah as as we're like like um finishing the whole like apartment build um but yeah as you guys can see that i really did try to tie in like the whole urbanness of the herbs from that game as well as kind of like the more upscale fashionable misty waters like richy reputation group which i'll talk about all of that backstory stuff about the game later on when i officially do like a whole like i guess like a reveal video that like i'm like that's like the next one for the for my throwback save file but yeah basically i felt like i went with that vibe for this um, apartment but yeah as the screenshots and don't forget we have the item overview and my little lookbook thing um, and I can finally talk to you guys and see the items that I'm actually talking to you about that will make it a lot easier but yeah you guys should totally go and check out the career if you guys are planning on getting this pack because it's really really interesting I really really like the freelancer careers personally they're are my favorite next to the rabbit hole ones um i like the the go to work ones too but i feel like they're i don't know there's something about those careers i feel like i like a little bit better um and yeah so we have our sim here i am just prepared or a little bit just so you guys can see so yeah we have this really cool slick back hairstyle i really really like this one it's very very chic it has a wet look and then we have this more blunt cut um and this curly cut um and i believe that we got some new earrings yep we got some new earrings so i showed you guys them all in different colors um one thing that was a little disappointing to me is that we didn't get a, a t-shirt for the kids or the toddlers because i was expecting maybe like a t-shirt for them like i wasn't expecting much um for for them but it would have been nice because machino does have the kids brand so i felt like it wouldn't be too off brand for them to at least include the t-shirt like I didn't think we were gonna get much but I wanted it okay and this is the out Barbie outfit that I was telling you guys about but yeah I didn't really expect much for them and I, but I thought it would be nice if we got a t-shirt and yeah that's the plum bob bathing suit I really like this one we got a new pair of heels um, as well as that dress I was really surprised too not to see any styled looks I don't know if they just forgot about this but um, I felt like we needed a style look for a stuff pack with a a fashion brand <laughs> like a, a designer fashion brand i was expecting that um but even so i felt like i did it for you so you're welcome <laughs> and yeah i really love the jackets in this pack oh my god like these are just so good and those are that that was the outfit with the weird pattern that i just that wasn't my thing but i loved everything else i freaking loved everything else and now it's for the greatest of my items like there wasn't a whole ton of them but 
they are ones I can definitely see my more rich sims using. Um, so yeah, you guys can be the judge of it as we're coming to the end of this video. Um, whether you guys will be purchasing this or not, it's 10 USD. I felt like it's a good deal. You definitely get your money for it. And I love to see the, the Moschino like logo on the back of that jacket. That was really cool. There's this really cool dress. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys comment, rate, subscribe, um, and follow me for more content. Okay, bye, bye, bye.